I going to um, commit the prime of my life to something that could ultimately be detrimental to my health? And New at 6, retiring at age 24, former Wisconsin Badger linebacker makes a shocking decision to walk away from the fame and fortune of the NFL. Tonight, the national discussion, his decision is triggering, and what's next for Chris Borland. Thanks for joining us. Badgers fans know him as the hard-hitting linebacker, of course, who roamed the middle of the field at Camp Randall Stadium. Tonight, the rest of the nation is just learning about Borland, a player who's decided to give it all up after just one year in the NFL out of fear he could suffer a life-altering brain injury. WISN 12 sports director Dan Needles begins our team coverage, and Dan, this decision caught everyone by surprise. Yes, Joyce, especially the 49ers who were counting on Chris Borland to replace all-pro linebacker Patrick Willis, who retired last week. Chris Borland has made thousands of tackles in his career from youth football through the NFL and says he is aware of just two concussions he has suffered, but he's retiring because of concerns about future head trauma. It's a unique decision to me. I'd done a lot of research um, of what I'd experienced in my past, um, projected to what I would have to do to be the linebacker I wanted to be, um, and for me it wasn't worth the risk. One instance in particular um, in camp where I thought I sustained probably a mild concussion um, and just played through what football players refer to as a ding or getting your bell rung, um, and that was the moment where I, it, it really went differently for me. I'd been relatively healthy. Um, from that standpoint for the nine years I played football up until that point. Um, but it was just kind of the realization, you know, I just started my professional career and am I going to go down this road? Am I going to um, commit the prime of my life to something that could ultimately be detrimental to my health? Borland says he plans to return to school to pursue a career in sports management and no word on whether or not that will be at the University of Wisconsin. And Dan Borland's decision, of course, blew up on social media. It's caused a major discussion about the future of the NFL. What have you been hearing? Well, you know, some are calling this a tipping point in the NFL. Mm -hmm. When a young player with so much promise passes up the potential to make millions of dollars because of health concerns, former Badger John Moffitt made a similar decision to walk away from football more than a year ago. And a lot of NFL players are supporting Borland's decision. Now, will Borland's decision lead other players to call it quits because of possible health concerns. Well, maybe, but it's a personal decision for right. every player. And for many of them, the chance to make millions of dollars kind of trumps the concerns over health. Well, they figure it won't affect them. It'll be the other players, right. perhaps, as well. All right, Dan, thanks. And old Badgers athletic director Barry Alvarez released this statement late this afternoon saying, quote, Chris Borland is one of the most impressive young men I've come across in my many years involved in college athletics. He will always be a part of the Badger family, and we wish him the best in whatever his future may hold. And as you can imagine, Borland's announcement set off the Twitter world. His former teammate and current NFC West foe, Russell Wilson, tweeted out, Pleasure playing with you, Chris Borland, at UW Badgers, and against you for the at 49ers praying for you on Wisconsin. However, Wilson's teammate, linebacker Bobby Wagner, wasn't so supportive. His tweet here, no offense to anyone, but I'm playing until I can't anymore. I love this game too much. An interesting reaction here from Packers Director of Player Personnel, Elliot Wolf. He says anyone worried about the future of football should see the amount of calls and emails we get from kids literally begging to get into pro days. Borland made his decision after consulting with former Packers linebacker George Kuntz. Kuntz retired from the NFL after suffering multiple concussions during his career. He wrote a book about life after football. He wanted to know, uh, George, how, what about your body? How do you feel? How's your concussions? Uh, how, you know, how do you feel after all those concussions? Because I had probably around 11 concussions when I played. He did his due diligence. He did a lot of research, talked to a lot of people. And he made a, a, a very, very informed um, decision to, to step away from the game. The NFL did release this statement on Borland's decision, saying, quote, We respect Chris Borland's decision and wish him all the best. Playing any sport is a personal decision. By any measure, football has never been safer, and we continue to make progress with rule changes, safer tackling techniques. Everyone involved in the game knows that there is more work to do, and player safety will continue to be our top priority. Now, if you have young kids who play sports, you may be paying especially close attention to Chris Borland's recent announcement and his story. New at 6, WISN 12 News Kent Wainscott takes a closer look at the impact it may have on youth football programs and the players. 
Ten-year-old Marty Klepek plays quarterback. His mom, Lisa, is concerned about the risks her son faces, but also is confident their Oak Creek Youth League has the right safety measures in place. If I felt like they didn't have trainers that were there keeping, you know, an eye on the kids, I would have second thoughts, yes. But I don't. Dr. Kevin Walter heads up the concussion clinic at Children's Hospital and says the Chris Borland case may help shine a spotlight on an important concern for young athletes and their parents. The parents need to know about the signs and symptoms of concussion. The athlete needs to know that. And the parents need to make sure that the coaches know it. So as concerns over head injuries increase, so do education and safety concerns. Even on fields like this one, where the youngest of athletes compete. I hope they understand. Charlie Brom is a parent and also the president of that Oak Creek Youth Football League, which has put in place strong concussion procedures. He too thinks the Borland case will help spread the message of safety. Now it's on the forefront, and there's more education that's involved in it, and it's um, people are more aware of the situation instead of just strapping on the helmet and going back in the game. And while Dr. Walter is encouraged at the growing awareness of concussions, he'd like to see more. Being good isn't good enough. We have to be perfect. We have to be great. In Oak Creek, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. A week from Friday on March 27th, the concussion experts at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin will host a live Facebook chat to answer any of your questions you may have on this subject. We'll have more information for you at WISN.com.